Hello, Father James Kubicki here with a story about a man named Norbert. He lived about a thousand years ago, and for the first 35 years of his life, he was pretty carefree and worldly, thinking mostly about having a good time. Then he almost died. He was riding along on his horse one day when a storm came up. Lightning and a crack of thunder frightened his horse, which reared up and threw him to the ground, knocking him unconscious. He eventually came to and, quite shaken by the experience, prayed. He prayed in gratitude that he was still alive and then, feeling perhaps that he'd been given a second lease on life, asked God a question. What do you want me to do? He sensed the answer within him, words which said, turn away from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. This was the beginning of the conversion which made him into the saint whom we honor today and the founder of a great religious order, the Premonstra Tensions, after the place where they had their first monastery. You may know them better as the Norbertines, after the name of their founder. What about you? Do you ever ask God questions like St. Norbert did, and then listen in your heart for an answer? I think that when we talk about listening to God, a lot of people have the idea of hearing an audible voice, but in most cases, God speaks in quiet ways, in inspirations and words that we feel spoken to our hearts and in the events of our day. It's important to take some time to not only talk to God, but to listen. And that means stopping long enough to ask questions and quietly wait for a response. You probably won't hear anything, anything audible that is, but through the thoughts, inspirations and feelings deep in your heart, God will be present speaking to you if you just ask, Lord, what do you want me to do?